UCLA at 32, South Alabama 31. Allergies killing me, killing me. And what a fantastic game. I had to go back and rewatch this. Because, of course, it was on the Pac-12 network. I couldn't see it. it is what it is. Um, I the, the biggest takeaway for me from this game was the ridiculous uh, fake field goal, whatever it is, that Kane Womack was trying to do, or Womack, or whatever. I, I'm, I'm trying to understand what it was that he was doing. Um, because they, they lined up, and I wish I could show this, but I, you keep getting YouTube DMCA stuff or whatever. Uh, they, they lined up in a field goal formation. They're up 31 to 29. It's going to be a long field goal. They line up in the field goal formation and then run the kicker or the place, whoever it is, out wide. And you don't have enough blockers really to do what you would like to do, but it's it's fourth and short, and you elect to run the football from seven yards back, eight yards back, whatever it is. I don't understand why that would be looked at as more efficient than just running your quarterback, Carter Bradley, that had been having a big day already up there. Like, your your running back, LaDamian Webb, had, uh, let's see, 16 carries for 124 yards in the game. Like, if it's fourth and short, uh, you'd have a better chance of getting it if you actually ran him. Uh, Carter Bradley, if you look at the actual... Game stats, which I guess I can, I guess I can go on and pull those up, can I? Um, da, 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 da. There we go. All right, so UCLA wins this. Uh, it's six point one yards per play to only five point seven. They outgained them four hundred seven to three ninety nine. Both teams had two turnovers. Uh, South Alabama way better third down percentage, scoring opportunities. UCLA had more, but South Alabama scored four point four three to three point two five points per scoring opportunity, and South Alabama had more points off turnovers. More defensive points, et cetera. Uh, UCLA had a better advantage as far as the field position goes, but when you look at what they were doing here, 26 out of 36, 237 yards. Yeah, he threw a pick. He threw one touchdown, though. Um, And then Webb, 124 and one touchdown. Like, Jalen Wayne in this game, 76 receptions. Like, he's he was awesome. Like, the, all these guys were awesome. Why would you try the fake field goal thing? And, of course, it gives UCLA the short field to be able to go and kick the field goal, and they win the game. I mean, Dorian Thompson-Robinson, DTR, was their saving grace in this game. 20 out of 30, 263 yards, three touchdowns. Zach Charbonnet, uh, 13 attempts, you know, 13 carries for 78 yards. Like this, UCLA found a way to get it done. Uh, But it was weird. It was certainly weird. I mean, if you look at the drive chart here, just uh, this one. This is probably the better one, uh, at least to show you exactly what we're trying to do. You look at this at the end of the game, and it's South Alabama, touchdown, and then UCLA fumbles, and South Alabama, touchdown, two play, six yards, you know, whatever. UCLA comes back down, touchdown, doesn't get the two-point conversion, punt, punt, and then this. At, you're at the UCLA 22. And then you get sacked to be 11. So it's it, it wouldn't have been a long field goal. It would have been relatively short. Like, I I don't get what... I, I think sometimes these coaches outthink themselves. I really do. Uh, because then, you know, you've got UCLA that had 2 minutes and 52 seconds to take it right back down the field and kick a 24-yard field goal to win the game. Just absurd. Just absolutely absurd. But, I mean, props to South Alabama for keeping this thing close. It's just you you could have won that ball game. You should have won that ball game. And instead, just ugh, so gross. Thanks for listening to Winning Cures Everything. Make sure and subscribe on YouTube or your favorite podcast app. And make sure to leave a nice five-star review. You can follow Gary on Twitter, at GaryWCE. And the show is at Winning Cures. Be sure to check out the merch in our web store and share the show.